Well, hello everyone. Um, I'm super excited today. Um, we have just released um, the Tennis Runs mobile app, and this has a, been a long time coming. We are super excited to get this out to you guys, and I just wanted to take a couple minutes today to um, show a little bit of a demo of what you can expect with the Player mobile app to make it really easy for your ladder players to see their ladders, um, see uh, any outstanding challenges, view the ladders, report their scores, propose matches, um, and even update their profile. So without further ado, let's just jump right in and I'll show you a couple things that you can do with the new Tennis Runs mobile app. So the first thing I want to show you is up at the top, um, this is where after you log in, obviously there's a login page. Once you log in, you will your players will get to this page. And this first little section here called My Ladders, if I click on that, will show you exactly um, the ladders that you're in, okay? So you'll see that uh, currently I'm in Men's Singles, Mixed Doubles, and Fun Summer Challenge. So um, the first one is a traditional ladder um, where you can make challenges. Uh, the second two are activity or point space ladders, and that's why you see the proposed match there because that will be how players propose individual latches, uh, matches in those ladders. So if I back back up to the dashboard, um, there's uh, a my challenges. Right now I don't have any challenges. Uh, I will show you that in just a minute what that's going to look like once I issue a challenge. Uh, my matches will be where you see all of your matches that you've played. Um, you can also see the results of those matches and whether or not uh, the result of that match uh, ended up in a movement up or a movement down and that's depicted by the by a green arrow or a red arrow that you see on the right side there and then open proposals for those participating or running activity based ladders um, you can click the open proposals and that's where you will see where players are proposing matches um, where they're proposing them if you're using locations uh, the proposed date and time and the ability to allow your players to go ahead and accept that match and then all matches is all of the matches across all of your ladders at your organization. You can see that we have a men's singles, a mixed doubles, and a fun summer challenge. Over there on the right will be where the number of matches played will be shown. So if I click, for example, men's singles, I can see uh, the result of that one men's singles match. So I'm going to back, back out to the dashboard. So now I want to sort of take you through what um, a player would do to make a challenge. So if I go to my ladders and go to rankings and challenge, which is the first button under the men's singles, I'm going to see the ladder. Uh, as you can see on the left side, it shows the rankings. It also shows in green if a player is trending upward. Uh, it shows in red if a player is trending downward. Um, you can see that if, a, if someone is ineligible for a particular to be challenged, you can just like on the, on the web version, you can click the in eligibility reason and you can see that it will show you why that player is not challengeable so I'll go ahead and just uh, I am sitting here at number three I'm gonna go ahead and challenge mr. Roddick so I just click the challenge button you're gonna get a prompt to ask if you want to challenge that player and you simply click yes it's going to go ahead and read now that challenge has been issued so as you can see now it shows currently I have one pending challenge pending and so now I have the ability to withdraw that match if, if I like, if I made it by accident, or I can wait on Andy to accept it. So I'm going to go ahead and um, do a quick pause of the video, accept that match, and show you what the report score looks like. Okay, I'm back and as you can see, I have went in as Andy and accepted that challenge that I issued to him. And so now if you look at the ladder rankings page, you will now see a score button. So this match has been accepted and now a either either player can go in and report the score. So if I just click the score button, I will get an option where I can pick the winner. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and select Tim as the winner. Now we get to say um, how many sets did we play? We're going to say we played a really good close three set match and so we're going to go ahead and say yep we played through we're going to next and now we're going to get to the report score screen and this is um, a really good easy way to enter the score much better than the current way you have to do it on the website through your phone so 
hopefully your members will love this. So we're gonna say it's six, two was the first set, and we dropped the second set, six, four. And then let's say we won uh, the third set and a third set tiebreaker, uh, 10 set. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and save that. Yep, you're about to submit a match. It does a little verification. Yes to submit. And now the score card's been uh, saved and the score has been posted. So now, as you can see, if I go over and look at the, uh, the new ranking, I can see Tim has trended upward. He skipped over Andy. Andy has been bumped down. And Andy is now red, which means he's trending downward. Um, and the challenge has been reported. So now that I've showed you what it looks like for a bump base ladder, I want to show you real quickly what it looks like um, on the activity ladder side. So a lot of our, a lot of you clients are using activity ladders where your players are able to do open proposals. So as you can see here uh, on my dashboard, I have an open proposals um, as the fourth option down and there's a little red alert. That means um, that's to bring attention to uh, that there is an open proposal waiting to be accepted. So if I click on that, I can see that the challenger is Ashley and she's uh, playing in the fun summer challenge and she's proposing to a date to play on 628 uh, at 9 p.m. So a late match for Ashley, but if I, I'm interested in that match and want to accept that match, I can simply click that accept and it's um, you know asking me, if, are you sure you wanna play this match? Um, and you agree to play at the proposed location and time and then I can say yes and then that proposal is accepted and as you can see my um, open proposals refreshed and now there's no more open proposals but if I go in and look at my challenges you can see that 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 ch uh, fun summer challenge match that uh, I accepted with Ashley is available in my challenge and I can now report that score one last thing I wanted to mention is uh, the My Profile. So if I click on that My Profile option, your players can actually go in here on the, on the mobile app and update their username, um, change their password, uh, toggle if they want to receive the, uh, the daily match results that go out or the uh, match proposal emails. They can change their USTA rating if you guys are allowing um, bladders that, where you want the players to show that and then enter um, they can actually update their time zones so that the proposal times are relative to their time zone. So just real quickly wanted to show you that. Well, that's the quick walkthrough for the new Tennis Rungs app. And you can easily direct your players to the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. Um, do a quick search for Tennis Rungs and it will pop up. And uh, the important thing to note is you, your players cannot create accounts um, on the mobile app as of yet, um, they, you still have to create that uh, user account initially inside Tennis Rungs, but once they get that welcome email and set their initial password, then they can download the app, log in, and start using it. So, hope you've enjoyed the demo. I look forward to hearing your feedback, and uh, hope you have a great time on the courts. Thanks.